welcome to another lesson on the Arc Development Kit. Today we will be covering the topic of level streaming and applying the right world settings. Now, what is level streaming? Level streaming allows you to um, manage your structure within your map. So you will have separate layers for each type of thing within your map. So you will have a level for foliage, one for static meshes, one for zones, obelisks, supply drops, whatever you can think of. Doing this will greatly optimize your map and allow the people that will play it to have better FPS. Um, you will be able to make your map even bigger because the optimization allows you to do so. And overall, um, it gives you a better, um, yeah, man it allows you to manage your map a lot better if you do this. Um, it's just a better overview. Um, to start off with this, we're going to need to go to your window and we're going to go to world settings because we have to set the appropriate settings in order to be able to level stream. So first off, you're going to need a starting camera. To get a starting camera, you're just going to drag a camera actor into your map, place it in the position that you would like, then search it here, search for it here, and then select it. I named this myself to starting camera. It can also be called blah or potato, doesn't matter. It's just that you can remember the name and that you can apply it here in the camera actor. Next up, we're going to go towards the capture settings. Your ground color multiplier should be on zero as well as your sky color multiplier. After that, we're going to skip towards the global IBL capture brightness and you're going to set that to 0.191313. Then the last setting is going to be the Sky IBL Intensity Multiplier, which should be on 0 0.579818. And after that, here comes the, or the important part. The Enable World Composition has to be ticked. This allows us to go for or to use the level streaming options. Then the Kill Z should be at minus 48,000 or whatever you feel like, but anything that drops below that um, Z level will be killed or destroyed from the game. Um, so next up, once we have this set up, you're gonna be able to create multiple levels um, or multiple, yeah, multiple levels for your main uh, level. So I have the small island here, and as you can see, I've already created another uh, level called the small island foliage, where I've painted old trees. Then I've got the small island static meshes, which are rocks and obelisks, uh, etc. But in order to manage these layers, you're going to go over to a window and you're going to hit levels. As you can see here, I have the persistent level, which is the small island, and the small island foliage and static meshes are sub or subs of this level or of the persistent one. So I can now toggle these and um, by toggling you can obviously see that the objects are getting added to the uh, scene outliner and also to the scene itself well but how does a layer look like now because if I would load up the foliage level it will just be a black world you can if you want to create one of these worlds just go to file new click on an empty level save it and then afterwards move your files towards it but it's just really important that you keep a structure that it, that you keep it structured. So foliage, static meshes, your zones, as in where your biomes. Keep your obelisks in a separate layer. The supply drops that you're going to add. But if you have an empty layer, you're asking yourself, how can I know where I'm placing everything? Well, the nice thing about this level streaming is that you can still access the level while having the main level loaded. So if I now double click on the foliage layer you will see the changing and this is now my active layer if I now start painting or adding anything to this layer so actually let's switch to the static meshes layer because then I will add a rock to my map um, we will quickly search for rock here let's see what can we find what's gonna look awesome here we got a cliff rock underwater I'm gonna drag that onto my map and um, but because we were in this current level and if we now toggle the visibility, you can see that it has been removed or that it gets removed because it's on this layer. And if we would um, load up the map through here, you can now see the little star icon that has appeared on the static meshes layer. It's because we changed it. We modified something. So now if we save everything, it's going to, um, yeah, 
obviously safe uh, along with that and it's all gonna be good but that is basically it for level streaming on how to do it and how to work with it um, if you already have it's, you don't have to keep watching if you don't have any foliage or static matches yet what I'm now going to explain is if you already have something on how to um, switch it over to an empty level if you didn't have it yet. So let's say the foliage, or I'm going to do it with some static matches because it's easier to explain. Let's say the rock that we wanted to add, we accidentally placed it on this um, on the persistent level layer. So the standard level. Let me see, we got this uh, cliff underwater rock, this gigantic one. We accidentally placed it in the wrong layer. What you can just do, you can just either copy, let me quickly save this. You can either just copy and go to the static meshes layer, paste it there, and then once you've got it pasted, wait, did I paste it? Yeah, okay, here we go. I pasted it, and now if I am sure, if I'm not, blah, blah, blah. blah. It, oh, here we go. See, this old rock is still on the old layer. So I'm just going to delete that. And as I see, I've now transferred it over towards this layer. Not that difficult. The foliage is a little bit more difficult because it's always one entire mesh. What you can then do is go to your foliage layer, lasso select everything, and then uh, here you can choose one of your levels and then you can tell copy to selected level. Once you've done that, you'll see that if you toggle the layers then you will have two foliage layers so make sure you delete the one that you uh, have on the main level and that your sub level of the foliage is uh, toggled off so you can delete the old one um, but that is uh, that is it for this lesson I hope you learned something it is a little bit of a difficult topic so if you have any questions Feel free to ask them and I will answer them as soon as possible. If anything was unclear, also just ask it. Um, so yeah, that's it.